Hello and welcome to Man Cave Mechanic. My name is Troy Bry, and today we're going to be discussing the Volvo Penta fuel pump assembly. You'll find these on your Volvo Penta boat motor, in your Four Winds, or many other boats. This was originally designed as a throwaway item. You knew you had a problem with it when it would start to whine, you'd have poor boat performance, poor starting, you'd go to throttle up on it, and it would just want to die on you. Now the reason you're having problems is it's being starved for fuel. And the cause of that is Volvo Penta painted the inside of these fuel cells. And with the introduction of ethanol fuel, ethanol breaks down paint. And when that happens, it starts to degrade, flake off, and clog up the screens in your low pressure pump and your high pressure pump. All as well as up on your fuel pressure regulator on your fuel rail. Now I offer service to correct this. I'll strip out all the paint out of this fuel cell. I'll test your low and high pressure pumps, clean the screens, flush them out, as well as change the O-rings as needed in the fuel pump. I'll also paint it as needed. This is one that's already been done. You can see it cleaned out the paint there. Looks brand new. It's a real simple do-it-yourself removal, four bolts, six hoses, and two electrical connections. Put it in a box, send it to me. If you're not completely satisfied, 100%, I'll refund your money. Now if you don't want to do it that way and you want to do it in your own man cave, I'm going to show you how to take it, tear it apart, let's see what's in it. Let's get at it. Okay, we're going to start out with a uh, T25 Torx driver, and we're going to remove the bottom three screws. All right. If your fuel filter is still on there, remove that. <coughs> All right, now. Sometimes this just comes right off, but first thing you have to do is there's a uh, bracket right here holding this high pressure uh, fuel pump on here, this uh, high pressure electric pump. Now <clears throat> there's normally a screw right here, but these things tend to corrode as, it, as you can see up here like this, and it corrodes and then it breaks off. So I have a fix for that, but um, this happens, it's pretty common. This just slides right up and comes off like that. There's a little rubber gasket on that. And then you just basically, this just plugs down in there. It has two gaskets that's holding that in there. So get in there, get in there with a screwdriver. Be real careful not to. There you go. See a little pry? That comes right out. There's two gaskets on there. A lot of times they're, they're in still pretty good condition on the, on the fuel pumps, but um, I just end up replacing them anyway. So we'll test that in a little bit too. <clears throat> Next thing you want to do is you want to remove this lower assembly. Now these things can be a little tricky, so you just kind of tap in a few spots. Be real careful not to hit these ports here. These are, these are um, water circulating uh, ports here. Comes in and then go, comes out here. You can see there's an inner chamber and an outer chamber. This inner chamber, where the fuel's at, there's a, a float in the top of that. And then this circulates water around this to keep cool, okay? <clears throat> Next thing we wanna do, is we want to remove this low pressure pump. Same thing that just comes right out. Now you can see there's gaskets on both sides of this one. Little ones here on this side and a little bit bigger ones the same as this one on, on this side. As I said before, we'll, we'll test that at the end. Alright, then we're going to remove 
the three screws on top. Okay, so we got six, six screws top and bottom. Okay, now we have to disassemble this. Basically the same same thing goes here. You just want to give this a couple taps. Be real careful not to hit these things. This housing is really quite thin, so prying on it, probably not a good idea because you'll end up barking that up and you, know, you might mess with the seal. Even though there's, there's basically three gaskets on each end that are sealing this up from water and fuel mixing. So there's one gasket on there and two here. So. All right, next thing you gotta get off here is the inner cell, which a lot of times this is pretty corroded. You can see this is all where the water goes here. And a lot of times this will have sand all caked up in here and, and uh, these ports. You can see these are pretty clean right there. That's not too bad. It's kind of got some gunk in there. I'll get that all cleaned out too. So this we got a nice free flowing water through there but um, the salt water pumps they'll come here this will all be full of sand and those are a lot of times occluded because they don't have any water circulating through there all right now this is pretty stout this inner this inner cell so you can hit that a couple times starting to work its way loose because I can see that gasket right there. This is just a dead blow hammer that I'm using. There you go. Okay. Now this is the part typically in here this, this stays pretty intact. I mean, this looks rough down here, but this is all inside of, inside of here and it's not being touched by the, by the fuel. So this is usually in pretty good shape. We'll clean this up and take a look at this afterwards, but these, these they look worse than they, than they are. And then in here, you'll notice, down in here, that's the bottom where the fuel is sitting. So you can see how that, I mean, I'm barely touching that and that's just flaking right off right there. And that's all through there. Those little flakes, if you can see on this side, there's some bigger flakes over here that cause problems. And this one, I mean, I've seen a lot worse. This, is, this, this isn't too bad, but those little bits of flakes get in those, those uh, screens and, and cause all kinds of problems. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up cleaning, taking this, this float out here, which is, a, which is a 15, Torx 15, two screws for that. And that float comes right out. The bottom of this float, you'll notice it has a needle valve. I think you can see that. Right here. And that goes into here.
that'll come right out of here. So on the end of this is another O-ring. And I'll replace that one as well. So we'll just put that off to the side. So we'll clean this all up, a little bit of steel wool, get that all looking good again. And then we'll make sure that this, um, this seats in here correctly. Because that's another problem. If, if that float, because this is at the top, that float floats up with that fuel cells fueled, filled with fuel, that floats up and shuts that off. If it doesn't shut off, then that runs uh, fuel up into your intake manifold and it will start to run your, your boat too rich. You don't want that. So that's important to make sure that that, that seats correctly. There's really only one way for it to go back in. It won't fit this way because of the two hoses there. So it only goes that way. Pretty simple. So we'll put that off to the side. And what we'll do is we will take this over, get this all cleaned up. I'm trying to look at this one and see if kind of we got a bunch of something in there. Like sand or something in there, maybe. So what we'll do is I'll get this all cleaned up, and then I'll be back. Just wanted to show you this uh, along the edge here. That's what I'm talking about with that paint flaking off. Now that inner cell, this this thing, will sit down on this ledge right here. So none of this really matters right here. But but from here down. This is where the paint has to stay intact because it just flakes off. And I mean, and I'm not barely touching it; it's just flaking right off. So that's that's the real problem. And I'll get that all cleaned up and show you what it looks like at the end. But uh, um, this and it's basically on the cast part of the assembly. This this part here, this stays in pretty good condition. So. This, we'll just get this cleaned up and we'll just put it right back in again just like that. So um, I will be right back with some more videos of the finished product here.